Louie, tell the people, why are you eating in your room right now? <laughs> what? Yeah. We are currently eating in Louie's room. <laughs> this is where we all eat. Unfortunately. <laughs> Louie, tell them why. Because we're getting a kitchen renovation. <laughs> ew, ew, I just touched snot. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Ew, it's not so even I don't know if that's your dad's or yours. Not mine. Ooh. It's Louise. We have a lot of updates to share with you guys. One being our kitchen remodel. So we'll show you guys that when we leave the room. Another big update, he is no longer two months old or last time we filmed. He is now over a year. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So we'll show you guys his uh, birthday video we made. It was St. Louis themed. Um, another update. We launched a kids channel on YouTube called Chosen Kids and it weirdly went viral <laughs> on TikTok. So we officially have an actual channel with over 11,000 subscribers and 70,000 views on one of our view on our, of our videos. That's pretty crazy because we started the channel like four weeks ago and the first video was obviously like four weeks ago, and that already has close, like she said, like 70,000 views plus. So, and we only have four videos up so far, so it's pretty cool. It has been so crazy because it was one of those things that's like super embarrassing to do, and I guess it fell in the right place of TikTok, and all these Christian moms found it and were telling people about it, and it just really blew up, and it was awesome. It's been awesome, it's been so much fun. <laughs> Good job, cutie. So, our in home nanny comes in like an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna straighten up this so she doesn't come in and want to leave instantly. And then I think we're gonna make a quick Aldi run, right? Yeah, that'd be ideal. <laughs> you wanna go Aldi? We need to get more waffles. You ate all your waffles. Right? Yeah, that's fine. No, rather get to work and he can come with us. <laughs> Hi. You silly boy. Did you make a pizza this morning? Oh, yeah. yeah. So since we have that big kitchen renovation going on, we can't get the dogs through the way that they usually go out. So we decided it'd be a good idea to put them through our window. So watch this video. All right. So then that evening, our dog, Boyer, thought that it was okay to come through the window while it was closed. So it was like 
11 o'clock at night and we hear tapping on our window and we're like what is that and i was actually getting scared because i thought we were going to be robbed and it was our dogs trying to get in uh, uh, no, they no, were no, actually no, worked perfectly no. fine so. they, they look like zombie dogs i was like what the heck i lift up the blind no, go through the door. and they have like crazy eyes it's dark outside and they're trying to jump into the window so you all done here your hands all done all done <laughs> Whoa. What do you see? Are you looking out your window? <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. You're just a happy boy. My happy boy. My happy boy. Oh. <laughs> hey, hi, <Huka>. uh. <laughs> You say hi. Say hi. Hi, Luca. Hi. Okay. Hi. What about how big is Luca? So big. So big. Okay, let's do another one. Okay. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Good job. Um, you gonna clap? Can you clap? Clap, 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 clap. Good job, Smarty. Whoa, so big! So big. You're so sweet. Oh, you okay? <laughs> You're okay. You're fine. All right. We are about to show you how crazy our house looks. And how crazy we look. <laughs> how crazy we look. And we're gonna show you befores. So we're gonna pop up some before images and videos that we have of what was going on. So here's the after. All right, here is the after. So right here was the wall blocking the living room. And then it went down that way, about there. There's a little doorway over there, a little doorway over there. But now it's all open. We added can lights. And then, man, it just made the house so much brighter this way already. But look how crazy our house is. So we obviously have tarp coming down the ceiling. And then Louie's little play area over there is still thriving. Not to uh, mention the dogs in general. Yeah, the dogs do not add to the chaos. And then we just have stuff everywhere in the living room. And then behind us is really where it gets bad. So that was the old coffee bar. That was the old pantry. This is just all stuff from the kitchen. Boxes. Now let me show you the office too because the office is gnarly as well with all the kitchen boxes in here so here is what the office looks like now but if you guys want to see updates on the kitchen as well as the house being completely cleaned and set up after the kitchen stay tuned because it's going to look so good uh, we're getting new chandeliers right there a new one up there and that's also why we started wanted to vlog again just because having an open island was just gonna make it so much easier to like video stuff again. So we're so super We've been stoked. chefing it up. All right, cause. Honestly, since you've seen, since we posted a video, it's a new era of Tony and Sid. Oh, it really is. We're, we're new people. We're parent people. We're in parent mode. We got to lose and enjoy. For new moms, I just wanna tell you, a lot of people think they lose themselves. I always felt like confident in who I was and like what I like to do, but I feel like I am like my best version of who I feel like God's called me to be now that I have him because I prioritize better yes. more now. But for instance, like I realized I love hosting people and having people over for dinner and like community and just like creating that space for people to be comfortable and come over to our houses. And then Tony's been chefing it up. So it's just been like a really good like pairing between us and like a lot of our friends are having babies so we just Shoot. have play dates at the house so you don't have to go to restaurants and be stressful and it's just been amazing which is another big reason why we wanted to get this kitchen done because we've been hosting so much and I do feel like the Lord's put it on my heart to do this sort of like ministry of like just having friends over and creating that space for dinner and game nights and things like that yeah which is a whole new I mean we always kind of did it but I feel like the Lord really put it on my heart for 2023 that this is like something I need to do regularly at least once a month have like an intimate dinner party to just build community and it's been going good ever since yeah so the kitchen is just going to add to it 
And like Little said, honestly, having uh, Luca has definitely made us prioritize <laughs> prioritize our time better and manage it better <laughs> instead of lollygagging and wasting time. So having a little one is totally worth it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go to Aldi. We'll be back. I promised we went in for food, but we got some pretty cool things. I have to show you. So, this is this is food, but literally Louis' favorite little snacky snacks. Um, first up, they had this gorgeous wine by Crofton, which I think is Aldi's kitchen line. Um, but they have like appliances, air fryers. We almost got a toaster, but we put it back. Um, but we did get these oil and vinegar sets for the kitchen. I think they're really pretty, and I like that they're kind of fat. And then for the kitchen also, they had the most beautiful terracotta bowl. I love the size of it. What is it called? Terracotta? Hey. Um, why? <laughs> it is these fancy words, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see it's a pretty big bowl, okay? And I love that it's flat and like the material or the like, it's just like a clay. I think it'll be so pretty on the new island, maybe fruit. <laughs> if I want to be more aesthetic, like they have it styled with, you know, these beads and stuff but I think it might be cute for fruit, and it's practical. The last thing that I'm very excited about, $14, guys. It's a pet tent, but Louie can fit in it. So I'm gonna put it in his room. It's not gonna be too big. Here it is. Um, so it won't take up too much space. And I've always kind of wanted one of these things, but I didn't want to spend like, honestly, $30. just seemed like it wasn't worth it to me. And I saw this, and I was like, yes, this is perfect, because if he hates it, or if it takes up a lot of space, like, I can just give it to a friend, or sell it, but $14 is totally worth it, so I'm gonna go set this up real quick, and let's see how it looks. Okay, I'm cracking up, because I just hyped it up so much. It's really cute, actually, but it's so small. I think he could fit in this. He could definitely fit in this. It'll be, like, snug. I was thinking you could fit like more than a chihuahua in here. Um, like I thought, I don't know, I'm trying to, here's a stuffed animal. This is probably the size of Louie. I don't want to get him because if I get him out he's going to be mad and we need to put the rest of the groceries away. Oh. Okay, this might be going to a friend with a small dog or a cat. I don't think Louie will be able to fit in here. Alright, I have to show you this gate that has been a lifesaver for Louie so we can get stuff done. <laughs> it's on Amazon, so we'll leave um, a link down below to it. But we like it because it's like, it's still super open how it has like the, you know, the openings there and around it. So it's like, we really like it, obviously, because the aesthetic matches what's going on in here. Um, but it's also like opened and it's not like closed off. You still have like these holes going on through it, um, those notches. So it looks nice and it gives us some time to get stuff done around the house while he's nice and tamed. And so he can like walk around and crawl. He's not just in like a chair or something. So we like it. We'll leave this down below in case you guys need something like it. Cause we all know it comes in handy. What's going on over here? Testing on his carrots. How are his carrots? We have, don't mind the backyard. Luckily it's too bright to see over there. It's hectic and it's still hectic over here. Um, but we got the Blackstone going. We're gonna cook some food. All right, I'll show you our backyard. It's a mess. I like to stack boxes so I can burn them. And uh, they've been stacking for too long. And we had a huge, I mean, it's not a storm, but a lot of wind came in yesterday. So it just blew everything everywhere. So we gotta clean all that up. But this is our lovely entertainment area in the Blackstone. Oh, look at that cute boy. Hey, little baby. Luca, Luca. Hi, Luca. Hi. Mama, she came back. <laughs> she actually Hi. came back. Hi. I told you. I told you I'd come back. Oh, there it is. Much better. 
Yay, hello, left hand. I fell in love with the Nemo girl. Why bring out the toys when we've got all We have nature? a boxer in training. Right now he's doing bear crawls to strengthen. <laughs> to strengthen his legs and arms, and he's trying to be one with wildlife, like real bears, and he tried to eat a leaf. Out of your mouth. Can you eat a leaf? Yes. Stop that. <laughs> no, Luca, stop. Ah, no. Luca, no. What you no. Get? Uh, uh, uh. Luca, no. Oh, it almost poked him in the eye. No. No leaf. <laughs> You're off the mat. Off roading. I'm an off roader. <laughs> you look so Where will small. I go? Nobody knows. <laughs> he even has like outdoor colors. He's like camouflage. <laughs> he is camouflage. <laughs> hey, get your grubby finger <laughs> off. My um, <a> music video. <laughs> Literally. Luca, stop touching it. Hey, stop. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? The <laughs> bot? Hey, you better not scratch it with your little fingernail. We've got some toys for you. You want to play with some toys? Told you, he's a boxer in training. Louis wants to call out Jake Paul for his next fight. Please don't. <laughs> Hello, Gooey. Hey. Hi, mister. Hey, hey. Uh, mister, mister. How big do you think you are compared to the other component? How big? That much bigger? You think you're that much bigger than your component? That much bigger than your opponent? Oh man. Huh? He said uh working on his agility. Yes. Self-independence. We're choosing the grass instead of the concrete <laughs> for um safety reasons. Tough terrain training. <laughs> 